Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and we have a 2020 Mr. Olympia qualifiers match? Well, for my prediction list, that is. I'm going to be definitely making a prediction list for the 2020 Mr. Olympia event, but like the Tominator often says, you can't really do them too early because you never know what's going to happen. And you know me, I'm a product of Tominator. I'm like a, a discount Tominator. But anyway, guys... This is an awesome comparison. This is best case scenario for Roly Winkler. And I don't know if that's the best case scenario for Brandon Curry. I mean, if he's... He might hope that he gets into this condition. Maybe he's going to be in worse condition. But I'm sure you guys have all seen his prep pitchers. He's probably going to be in better condition. Roly Winkler, 2018. He did anything but drop the ball at this event. He superseded everybody's expectations for him, placing third. Just fantastic. The physique that he brought, guys. He had more sting in the conditioning. He had more sting as far as the size, as he did just one year later in 2019 against Brandon Curry. And you know what happened, guys? He was nervous. It had nothing to do with his prep, his training. He was nervous, and if you don't think that can affect your physique, you've never done anything like that. Like, even in pro wrestling, I've seen it. If you're not feeling good, you're not going to look good. It looks like you haven't trained. And he was, let's face it, guys, in 2019, the only people that beat him the year before were Phil and Roden, and neither of them were there. So he was, it was in his stomach. He was nervous. People were telling him he's going to win this year, and it affected him. Now this year could be could be the 2018 version that he brings. And if it is, I got news for you guys and Brandon Curry. He's going to win. He's going to defeat Brandon Curry. At least in this pose. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Or I did, but I'm not going to follow through with that. This is a Roly Winkler pose, guys. And Brandon Curry looks fantastic. Usually Curry's the one dwarfing everybody else in size and the arms. Underrated is the size of the upper body of Brendan Curry. Neither gentleman here is going to win a calf contest. He's not going to be in the, the top 10 best calves of all time. Neither of them. Quads? Mm, I'll have to see other pitchers to see who has a better set of lags. Both guys not known for uh, the best set of quads in the world, but both gentlemen pretty darn good, I think, in my opinion. But like I said, guys, those arms, both guys, both guys. So it, it could be a, a race at the Olympia this year. I mean, Brandon Curry, he's the champion, guys. You know he's going to be training those guns. He wants that front double bicep to look good. So it's going to be a battle. As is, though, 2018 versus 2019. I'd give this one to Roly In the front lat spread, Roly Winkler... He looks like he's about four inches taller, first of all. And I size these guys, so as far as their structures are concerned, they're usually not the same height in their poses. Now, back to back, I'm sure these guys are probably very close to being the same height. Hard to say, really. But I really could care less. What I want to know is how tall they are in their poses. And Curry, he leans way back. If you could see a picture of him from the side... Looks like he's skiing downhill. Looks like he's he's leaning way back. Looks like he's going to topple over. And what that does, of course, creates a, a lot of lat size. This is a different album for Curry. And one of the few front lat spreads you can find of him. And it's confusing. He didn't hit it in the other album. And Roly Winkler did. But he actually looked better in this album. So it's kind of fair. Roly Winkler... He's basically saying, if Curry can use this album, well, I'm going to use my better front lat spread. And actually, this is a very good pose for Roly Winkler. In the other album, most of the time, Roly Winkler does not look that good in this pose. But here, he really pulled it off, in my opinion. Can he beat Brandon Curry in this one? No, he's not going to. But I don't think Curry's going to take Roly Winkler in the front double by either, so... Guess what, guys? It's a matchup. We have a matchup. Side chest. And to be honest, personally, this is one of the the best 
battles in this entire competition. Now, most of you are looking at this and thinking, oh, Roly's winning. Look at his legs. Look at his arms. But see... I'm kind of a traditionalist when I look at this pose. Like this one in the side tricep, I focus on the chest. I focus on the tricep for that pose. But I don't know, guys. I'm looking at the whole physique here, and Roly looks so much better. And this is another situation where I had to size them. You have to look at events where they stood side by side, and Roly Winkler crouches down a whole lot more in this pose. Trust me, if I made their heights the same, like they actually are the same height. Roly looked like he was about 400 pounds. Trust me, this is this is correct. Roly stands a lot shorter in this pose. Not all of them, but this one in particular. Look how thick Roly is, even at this height. He And I think that's what that does when he leans down. It, he's a juggernaut, guys. All chest aside, because Curry is winning in the chest. You notice that? The 70s bow look? Curry has a classical physique, aside from the calves. And when you do look at the calves, wow, Roly is kicking his butt. So if that matters to you at all, that's just one more thing in this matchup that Roly Winkler is making a strong case for himself. That he can beat Brandon Curry this year. And all Phil Heaths aside, guys, he could be the champion. Could boob under side tricep. And that's one thing that could help. Boob under this year. If nobody's really getting in his ear, if he's not seeing a whole lot of prediction videos saying that he could be the next Mr. Olympia, if he just rides under the radar and cruises in like the beast that he is, I'm telling you guys, he could win the Olympia. Anyway, this pose here, take your pick. There's no in-between either... Roly Winkler is losing because it's not hit to speculations, not hit to, to spec, to specifications. <laughs> or he's winning because his triceps, a monstrous, big, bulbous piece of humanity. It's a hunk of humanity. And this is one of those situations where I get comments saying, just size their heads correctly. Well, how can you do that? Roly Winkler is leaning his head towards the camera. It's going to be a lot bigger than you, you would think. And... On Curry's situation, he's leaning way back, his head farther away from the camera. So you can't do that. You can't really do that. You have to really just go and look at previous pictures of them hitting the poses and size it that way. That's the best way to do it. But I don't know, guys. It's going to be hard for Curry. I think the judges are going to go ahead, and they're obviously letting Brent or Roly Winkler hit his pose like this. He always does, and he's, he's obviously winning this pose. So... I think Curry could be in trouble, guys. Back development, beginning with the rear lat spread. Of course, that's not the way they do it in the IFBB. Condition-wise, to be honest, they're on a similar playing field. I would give an edge to Roly Winkler. But of course, you're never going to really tell unless they're side-by-side -side with the exact same lighting. But I would honestly give a slight edge to Roly Winkler. But it's similar conditioning, similar conditioning. Roly Winkler, he bends at the knees quite substantially in this pose. And if you do get a chance to look at them, say at the 2019 Olympia standing side by side, they're Roly Winkler definitely a lot shorter than him in a pose like this. And Brendan, he is he's taller and wider. And that's about it. He doesn't have much sting in this pose. Backwise. I might even give him an edge because he is so much wider. But Roly Winkler looks like he has more detail, more substance. And to be honest, when I look at the lags, especially the calves, weak, weak set of calves for Brandon Curry, and no disrespect at all meant to him. You have to sound like you're being mean when you're judging these. I mean, Roly Winkler... He's no Dorian Yates, but he does have a decent set of calves, for sure, in this competition anyway. So, let's go to the next back shot, and it just looks like Roly Winkler is more impressive. It looks like he is, he sticks out to me much more. And if you don't think calves make a difference, have a look, guys. Those weak little calves of Brendan Curry... I mean, like I just get done saying, guys, no disrespect, and then I go and be disrespectful. Roly Winkler, maybe not the best pose for him, but I think he has enough here in this 2018 version. 
And if he brings this version, guys, not a lot of people are ha have him on the radar. But take a look, guys. I think he's clearly better than Brandon Curry. I think he really had to drop the ball like he did in 2019 to lose to Curry. And the other guys, the Bonax, maybe even the Hattie Schuppens. So Roly Winkler, Boo Bunder, guys, he is the gentleman to look at this year at the Olympia. And if you think Curry's going to defeat Boo Bunder on aesthetics and conditioning, take a look at the ab and thigh. In my opinion, Roly Winkler's defeating Curry here at his own game. In the midsection, the V-taper. Well, it's a pretty darn good V-taper for Brandon Curry. And he has a good set of abs, too. But I think those the muscle separation in Roly Winkler's abs, it's just perfect. He has a, a tiny split in the middle of his abs. I don't hate that. I don't mind that at all. I usually don't prefer it, but I think that's just a perfect six-pack. That's uh, Lee Priest worthy, I'm telling you right now. Of course, Curry is battling him. He leans forward slightly, takes from his height, but it gives him a little bit better of a V-taper, I think. So, honestly, all politics aside, it could go either way in the ab and thigh. But I like Boo Bunder. Most muscular, most certainly. Boo Bunder, guys. This is a, a brutal beating. And honestly, if you look at these guys and their competition history, whenever Boo Bunder was on, he always placed ahead of Curry. It wasn't until 2019 when those butterflies got in Roly Winkler's stomach. He was never thought of as the favorite going in. I mean, to some people maybe, but not to the realists. In 2019, he was a legit threat to the Olympia crown. And a lot of people were, when you think about it, because there was no champion going in. So you could throw politics out the window, and you might just as well do that this year as well, guys. And I'm not going to announce Boo Bunder as the winner in this competition, but you guys know exactly how I feel. Brandon Curry, Roly Winkler, definitely two legit threats for the 2020 crown. All Phil Heaths aside, he, there's always a chance that he could totally drop the ball and not come in shape so these guys here Roly Winkler is he a wild card I wouldn't call him a wild card if he comes in shape it's he's not a wild card at all he's a legit threat so anyway guys that's my two cents 2020 Olympia <laughs> a lot of questions will be answered hit thumbs up on the video subscribe to the channel have a great day